it's Mirage's Invader here with the um latest um and uh news and weather for you for April twenty fourth, twenty twenty. Welcome to Invader's nightly news and weather where we track the coronavirus cases update and tracking the long range outlook and severe weather. We get let's begin with the end hurricane season starting early in the Pacific Ocean with Miss 90 E. Let's begin with now on Vader's Nightly News and Weather with the coronavirus cases. Across the nation right now, we have some storms right now firing up as we do have enhanced risk right now. We do have storms right now and terminal warnings were earlier around the parts of the Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, um, and Oklahoma um, region. Let's begin with the top coronavirus cases right now. Right now, the worldwide cases stand at 2 million 790, 986 confirmed cases worldwide, and over 195, 920 deaths worldwide as well. Right now, the United States leads with the top cases and deaths totals. Right now, the United States leads the confirmed cases at 924, 510 confirmed cases, and over 52,296 deaths right now. Spain leads second in the top cot in the um, top highest cases, followed by Italy, Germany, UK, France. Turkey, Iran, and Russia will be next, followed by Brazil, and these other countries soon to follow later. Uh, maybe maybe next month we'll see all these other countries leading, uh, passing China's cases. To begin with, with the coronavirus, um, China has new cases of coronavirus now. Uh, last time we had 82,000, now it's just spiked up 84,000. So that's really interesting. Uh, 4,000 deaths in China. We'll be watching China's cases really closely. Right now, the United States is about to hit 1 million at the end, by early May, possibly, we will see 1 million cases in the United States by early May, so, um, we'll be watching that really closely and what we expect, but yeah, the United States is going to hit 1 million by the early, by early May, I project it will be hit 1 million by April 29th, uh, between, the, um, April 29th and May 4th, is some is when um one when the United States hits one million cases between uh uh April twenty well I just gonna say April twenty fourth between April twenty fourth through uh, May fourth is when we're gonna see the top highest cases in the United States uh, with one million cases so that's a prediction but if it does hit between those dates then you got some news for me so and I predicted that right so yeah future predictions for FS Rick News. Yeah, so New York leads the highest cases with over 263, 460 cases, and over and over 50,740 deaths right now. Uh, New Jersey leads second, followed by Massachusetts, California, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Michigan, Florida, Louisiana, Georgia, Connecticut, Texas, Maryland, all these other states. Again, look at their confirmed and death toll too. Here it is. I'm going to go slowly here, but you can stop, but I need to catch up with the long range outlook too. But yeah, New York is leading the highest cases right now. This is up the less than 50 minutes ago. Uh, it's really late over here, but um, it's worth it uh, right now for me. But I'm just I'm gonna stay up and do some weather news stuff and make my map on the severe weather maybe if I have time and try to do some stuff then go to sleep. But right now let's talk about the climate prediction center's six to ten day outlook as part of our long range outlook. Yes, we do have a lot of heat. I mean, a big heat wave around this area. We can see some heat uh, decreasing here in this area, and we got some cold around this area uh, possible. But it's going to be warming up in May. So this is your April to May uh, forecast for long range. We can see some heat across the U.S. So it's warming up, and it could die off the virus a bit. Probably June, July, we're going to see if it's safe. We'll be watching government officials on what we're going to expect for the virus. But, yeah, it might die off in June or July, but... We got to make sure it does, but we will, we don't know if it's going to die up June or July. But we'll make sure uh, we'll get that news to you as fast as we can as soon as possible. Yeah, we do have um a heat advisory right now. So you can see we got some heat and excessive, um, heat warning too, and excessive heat watch and rest light warning. Right now we do have severe weather across the southeast for the Oklahoma, um, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas, uh, Texas region. You can see we do have turning water being issued. Severe jumpstart watches and severe jumpstart warnings being issued. We know we know there was a launch warning. I was aware. I was 
well aware of um, the train wars we see in Texas and maybe parts of these regions. We, yeah, we do have training warnings today with this severe weather as we had another day of severe weather enhanced risk. But we might see more watch for severe weather probably um, around the central plains. We're going to be, I will be talking about that very soon. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's begin with the uh, Front Prediction Center's outlook. I'm going to show you the dates, um, uh, probably the date 4 through 8 outlook and showing you there's uh, maybe there's any updates. But yeah, we do have enhanced risk uh, right now as we speak. Uh, this is the enhanced risk zone right here, slight risk here. And here's the turner risk, a trainer risk, 10% in that area. Wind risk is at 30% in that area. And hail risk, uh, we got a um, hack area, 30% uh, there as well. Uh, for uh, through um, the overnight hours through Monday morning, we clearing out. It's not going to hit the southeast. There's nothing there. It's just a marginal risk. But yeah, these storms gonna be shipped to northeast, it's not gonna hit the southeast like like another round of severe weather. It's not gonna hit again. But we do have a marginal risk for these uh, cities right here. Uh, right here, we do have marginal marginal risk, but nothing too severe. Um, nothing too severe. And this one, there's nothing here. Uh, well, we do have marginal risk for these um cities, uh, but nothing too severe for us. Normal severe weather, normal storms. Right now, marginal risk, uh, turn risk, nothing, just two percent. Wind risk is five percent, and hail risk is five percent. But nothing too severe, nothing uh, concerning with this severe weather threat. But, but yeah, it's nothing. Actually, I told you marginal risk for the day three outlook as well. Day four, five, six, seven, eight, nothing, nothing. On uh, here, if someone asks me uh, for the long range outlook, can you show you the day two, four, three, day four to eight severe weather outlook? I told him yes, and I did it for you also. Hope you um like um, hope you like the uh, weather forecast I just showed you of the severe weather. Uh, okay, now um, let's talk about the storm reports too before we move on. So let's see how many storm reports today. 78 total reports, uh, that includes three train reports where it's along the uh, Texas, um, Texas and Oklahoma border and one up here in Missouri. And we have severe weather today, severe just some watches being issued. Hail reports at 51, wind reports 24, so that makes it 78 reports for now. And we've got more reports coming in tomorrow, but we do have train watches and severe just some watches in effect. Here's the um, uh, severe just some watches, the train watches have been issued, so yeah. Uh, yesterday's report, uh, here it is. We have a total of 1 to 65 reports. You can barely see it. I said 165. Uh, we had, um, 11 training reports, 1 to 136 wind reports, and 18 hair reports along this line. If you add all these up, you get 165 reports right there. Uh, let's move on to the, um, next part. Um, let's see what we got. Um, nothing. Nothing too severe. Let's move through the um next forecast. I'm just gonna X these windows out. But I'm gonna, let's move through the next forecast. It's on our Invest 90E. Yeah, we do have Invest 90E right now. Uh, for the um tropical weather outlook, we do have a possible uh cyclone formation in the next five days. We got 80% high high for 48 hours high, five days high. This could be a new disturbance, a new tropical cyclone. I do not know what's the name. I forgot. Because I'm not into a tropical season, yeah, but I'll tell you the name. It might be popping up. And I'll show you the name soon. But this might be a new name, tropical depression, tropical um storm. It's not gonna impact any uh land, so I'm not well. I'm not gonna be. I'm not concerned. But it's gonna be develop. It's gonna be developing in the um uh, Pacific. So yeah, uh, nothing too severe. It's not gonna like. Be too severe because it's not impacting any land. But if it does impact any land, I will try to get that information quick out as best as I can. Uh, right now, if there's any new updates, I'll let you know on the. I'm just gonna let y'all know about this new Invest 90E being in the uh, Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Let's look at the HRR models on the storms. So overnight, we could see some storms linger around, uh, moving into Louisiana, Arkansas, and parts of Texas, and moving to Mississippi later on. But these storms will be heading northeast. And we'll be wicking out, and we do have potential storm energy remaining with this system. We got some rain a bit from moving to Alabama, Mississippi. Then these storms will be moving away. As you can see on the models, these storms will be moving away. We might see a potential some storms here, uh, still firing out as we do have a marginal risk for Saturday. 
Yes, we do have a margin risk for Saturday as well. Now let's talk about the uh, GFS model. We need to run the GFS model real quick. So let's look at your um, long range outlook for the uh, for across the nation. Uh, let me just pull up, pull up the precipitation real quick. Uh, yes, here's the GFS model. We do will expect uh, across rain and you can see rain here. Uh, better if I, I don't know how to use this model. It's different from the uh, truffle, uh, uh, um, truffle tidbits. I should use that later. Uh, but yeah, so here's your um, GFS model. We will see some rain across the southeast. Storms possible, maybe we'll, we will see some rain, possible snow. For May, and here's the May, we will see a lot of warm temperatures. Pop when we could see some snow. So you can see all these reds are these are cold temperatures pushing in. But yeah, we will see some snow, rain, um, snow here, rain there. And you can see all across the southeast. This will go up to May 10th. Now let's talk about your, um, now let me just, uh, run the, uh, storm energy so um let me talk about the uh, storm energy for the uh for this area so yes we will have storm energy of uh, we have a lot of available storm energy on friday you can see we do have storm energy for the south and it's still available you can see if i play it back here here you can see we still have a lot of storm energy for tonight storms and moving to monday morning then all the energy will be gone and all the energy will be remaining in the atlantic and we do have some still storm energy for these storms firing up but there's not gonna be too severe, but we can see, uh, might be too severe. We might see which this one. But yeah, you can see the model runs right here. Uh, we still have storm energy there, uh, as you can see. So let me talk about the uh, the tornado permitter for this with this system. Do we, will we see some tornadoes in the um, in the Texas, Arkansas? Um, no, let me change this. Texas, uh, Ar uh, Oklahoma, um, Louisiana, or Arkansas area? Or Mississippi, will we see some uh, tornado significant permitter? Would it will we will we will we will see will we will see um tornado energy? I'm very sorry about this. Uh, I'm terrible talking today because I had a lot of things going on. Yeah, will we will see um tornado energy overnight? Yes, we we will have a little bit of tornado energy, but not a lot of tornado energy remaining. Yeah, but there's you can see there's not a lot of tornado energy with these storms. So yeah. Not a lot of tornado energy. I'm just include this in our long range outlook because someone asked me earlier about this just at once, but this is not going to produce any tornadoes. These are weak. This is not uh, significant as we expected. The echo toss will be like 40 30 feet in the air. Uh, yeah, you can see it's not going to be really high. Nothing too severe, you can see. But let's move to the um, long range outlook as everyone has been waiting for the temperatures. That's the best part of this uh, long range outlook. Your temperatures. Um, let me just run up the latest long range outlook models, and you will be on our way. Let's talk about the uh, temperatures for the south, uh, southeast. Let's talk about how much, uh, uh, how are we going to see these temperatures, and and what are we going to expect? Warm temperatures or cold temperatures? Well, this is all you've been waiting for, everyone. The warmest temperatures. Here it is. Uh, now I'm just gonna load up the temperatures. Uh, I should use truffle tidbits maybe, if if I knew how to use this. Okay, let's talk about our temperatures across the nation. Uh, across the nation, we will see some warm temperatures, cold temperatures, and like warm temperatures, cold temperatures expected across the nation. We will see like um barely warm and cold temperatures, but you can see that here's your long range outlook. You can see really warm temperatures in the south. Uh, it's about to warm up there, and it's going to be really hot. You can see it's that it's going to be really hot in the south. We can expect 70s, 80s, 90s in Texas. Really hot temperatures will be warming up across the nation right here in May. So May, we can see one of the warmest temperatures right here. Texas seeing the big boost here, 98 degrees. Uh, that's why I wanted to you can see that's really hot. 101 degrees in Texas. But it's probably over um maybe no, Dallas could see 90 degrees, 84 degrees in Georgia. Uh, really hot in the south as this could kill the virus a bit. So yeah, it's good news it could kill the virus, but we could see cold temperatures. But it's gonna be remaining hot for May. So, yeah, summertime is almost here, everyone. So yeah, enjoy the summer as you can. I don't know if the virus is gonna die off, but it depends if it, it will. But we'll see. But warm temperatures are expected across the nation. Really warm temperatures right here. You can see 
on this graphic. Now let's talk about the precipitation. How much precipitation will you see um, uh, on your long range outlook? So auto rain we add up, we can add up. So auto rain we'll expect from these systems, we can expect one, um, about five inches here, five inches there, if you don't load that up. But yeah, so probably Arizona and uh, New Mexico won't see some rain, but a lot of rain will be falling in these areas. So it so there will be a lot of rain in this uh, southeast region. Probably some rain up north here and here in the western region right here. So yeah, we're going to expect some rain across these areas. Uh, Arizona, um, New Mexico won't see any rain. Uh, parts of it won't. But yeah, there's a lot of rain except for this region here. But it will be a lot of rain here, mostly in this area. We will see one of the more most rains, most rains in this, most rain in that area. Now let's talk about the snow. Um, yeah, let me show you the snowfall. There is. I don't know this snowfall. Okay, total snow cumulation. It's a long time since I used this model, so don't blame me. But here's the GFS model run showing how much snow falls. There's not a lot of snow in May. Just some snow up in the um. And not a lot of snow will be falling in May, but we do expect 3 to 4 inches, 20 inches here. But we got some snow up Maine and parts of um, this area, but these models will change. So yeah, not a lot of snow in May, but it's going to be, um, going to be uh, a lot of snow up in Canada. But yeah, the United States could see some bit of snow around the western Rockies, Great Rockies here, and parts of Maine could see some snow. But these models will change, so please keep in mind. Now, the last part of our... um tour today on a severe weather. I mean, the last part of our tour today is our, um, yes, our models on Invest 98. So let's talk about the, um, hurricane models. Here's the global Hur plus hurricane models. This is just an update. Uh, models are showing these storms could be heading, uh, east. Uh, but this, these models will change, but yeah, these models are saying all, um, models are green. You could hit, um, probably head, um, west, I meant. West is going to be heading west. One of, the, one of these models are saying east, but all most of the models are saying um, probably heading uh, west. So I don't know if it's going to impact the land, but if it does impact the land, we will let you know as soon as possible. But yeah, um, yeah, not, nothing major, but this storm will weaken, probably be a tropical storm, but weaken to tropical depression later on. But here's the intensity models right now. Uh, this Some of these ones will be like going up and down, up and down. Uh, might not hit tropical storm uh, phase yet, but we'll let you know if it will, if it becomes a named storm. But it might possibly possibly be a named storm, so I'll let y'all know uh, on these um, forecasts. So across.